Now, question number 2 says in a triangle PQR let angle PQR equals 30 degree and the sides PQ and QR have lengths 10 root 3 and 10 units respectively then which of the following statements is are true. Similar type of question four options are given we have to choose this time correct option. This question is from trigonometry that is properties of triangle part. So, let us draw the triangle first starting the solution. This is given in this question as a triangle PQR is there right. So, marking these coordinates as PQR let us say P here, Q here and R here given to me two sides as P Q and Q R 10 root 3 and 10 respectively and angle P Q R is 30 degree meaning 10 root 3 and 10 while this angle is 30 degree correct. Now, let us check what we have to find in this question looking at four options. First they are talking about angle Q P R they are also talking about area of the triangle PQR. Question is also discussing about radius of in circle of the triangle as well as area of the circumcircle. Meaning I have to find small r, I have to find capital R, I have to find area of the triangle all these parameters. So, starting it using cosine rule in this triangle we can say cos 30 is equal to p q square plus q r square minus r p square divided by twice of product of these two sides. So, this is 300 plus 100 minus p r square divided by 2 into 10 root 3 into 10 cos 30 that is root 3 by 2 just cross multiply and simplify to get the value for P r as 10 units. So, this length comes as 10 units. When we obtain this value we can find angle Q P r as required in this question angle Q P r this one. Let us consider this angle as P using sign rule we can say 10 upon sin P is equal to 10 upon sin 30 degree. So, this gives us sin p equals sin 30 that is p comes as angle 30 degree correct. Now, the first option was the angle is 45 degree. So, this is wrong next the area of the triangle PQR. We can find area of triangle P Q R let us denote it by delta because it will be required further as well. This is equal to half let us consider A B sin C. So, it gives us half into 10 root 3 into 10 into sin 30 degree that is half. So, this is equal to 25 root 3 area of triangle P Q R is 25 root 3. The area of triangle P Q R is 25 root 3 and angle Q R P is 120 degree. So, both terms are correct because we have obtained this angle P as 30 degree these two are 30 each meaning this angle is 120 degree. So, this statement is correct next we have to find in radius in radius meaning small r is delta upon s delta we obtained as 25 root 3 while s that is semi perimeter of the triangle that is we can find as 1 by 2 of 10 plus 10 plus 10 root 3 correct simplifying we get this is simply 20 plus 10 root 3 we can take 
10 common. So, it gives us 5 root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3. Rationalize this term 2 minus root 3 multiplying and dividing we get this term denominator becomes 1 and the numerator is 10 root 3 minus 15. So, this is in radius of the triangle looking at the 4 options that is option C this time 10 root 3 minus 15 units. So, this is also correct. Next, the area of the circumcircle of triangle PQR for area of the circumcircle we can find the circumradius of the triangle and circumradius can be obtained using sign rule. So, from this triangle we can see let us consider 10 upon sin 30 this is equal to 2 r. So, writing here 10 upon sin 30 equals 2 r. giving us r equals 10. Therefore, area of circumcircle obviously for this triangle is equal to pi r square that is 100 pi. Meaning that option d is also correct which says the area of the circumcircle of the triangle PQR is 100 pi. So, from the given options we can see that 3 options are correct that is B, C and D. So, correct answer is B, C and D. So, this is clear let us move to the next question that is question number 3. 